Okay, here we are in the shop. We're going to do a quick demonstration on setting up for stick welding. So we've got our Lincoln power source here. Um, first thing to do is to make sure that we have everything plugged into the right terminals, of course. You wouldn't believe how many times that is wrong. So we have the negative terminal here on the left. That's going to our ground cable. Uh, we have our positive terminal here on the right. Right now it's plugged into the back of the flux core machine. We're going to unplug that. And we're going to plug in our whip. If you have problems with welding, before you check anything else, you know, check that these cables are secure and tight. Okay, up top here, we'll power the machine up. We want to flick this switch here to SMAW. We want to have our hot start off or on. I don't really find it makes a difference. Don't know what it does. Uh, this one, we have local control of the amperage or remote control. We're going to push that on local. Uh, as you know, the electrode holder does not have a switch or a button on it anywhere. So to turn on the weld terminals, we want to have them on, and then that's always going to be hot. Uh, our control, I just leave that at zero when you sort of Get an idea of how to manage the arc without using that. You might come around and, and play with it a little bit. It's not super duper important for us to start with. Uh, amperage, somewhere between 100 and 120 for 187018 rods. I'm going to start at 110. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 